Hi, so today I'm gonna to share with you a look inside my Passport Travelers Company Everyday Carry, and then also set up my little page for this coming week. So let's get started. I'm Tammy Inman, and this is A Peach Life. So I have mentioned before in past videos that I would share a closer look with you guys of my Traveler's Company monthly and weekly that I combined. So I wanted everything all in one insert. So I'm gonna pull that out and show that to you really quick. Just so you get a better understanding of it and then show you what's inside my, what I carry inside my um, cover. Okay, so here it looks like just a regular one of the little notebooks. But I took, so this is um, the second half of the year, July through December, and then I removed the notebook that is the monthly, and I put that in the back here. I just kind of opened, like bent this open as best as possible. A little white glue, like book glue, Elmer's glue, you can use whatever, uh, binding glue, and I stuck that in there and let that dry. And so now my months are in the back. It's not January through December. It is, I think I did June, yeah, June through December. Yes, June through December. This is July through December, but I didn't really use my beginning year notebook. And so I gave that away in a little giveaway with other goodies. But um, even though, you know, it's just, it's not that much. I just didn't like having it in two different inserts. And I liked if I wanted to grab and go and put this in something, I could. So essentially this portion here is part from the other insert and it's just put in there that's why it has the front cover also okay so that is my little look at when I mention that in other videos that's what I mean I put my monthly and weekly all in one it also when you're doing your elastic it only takes the one elastic and it sets really well <clears throat> Okay, so I'm gonna put that back in here and I'll give you a little look at. So I utilize only one elastic. And so I will put that on the week that I'm on. I'll slip that in there so that whenever I open, it always opens to the week that we are on at that time. And then I use We'll take this I use this and I'll go to my month right there I get a sip of my tea <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> okay I have um, dandelion tea okay so today uh, that I'm posting my video and doing my video is Sunday, October 6th. And yesterday was my little A Peach Life meetup here in Peachtree City, Georgia. And so there's just like kind of my month starting out. And in my month, I don't do a lot in my months. It's just mainly like an appointment, something that I have to be at or do. That's absolutely, it goes in here. So I try to keep it as open as possible. And then I'll show you uh, me using my weeks. And I'll give you a little glimpse in here. So this is um, one of the little clear sleeves and I did put a couple little dots of glue and it's, it's held on like that. And then inside I just have little um, bits and pieces and things to utilize. 
as needed to be able to adhere the little stickies from Traveler's Company and some little, the little stickers. Okay. And then my, my cover that I decorated. And then just the inside. I don't really use um, this portion in the passport size. I've mentioned that in another video. I utilize it uh, differently in my Hobonichi. So I'll just give you a quick little look. Just adding little bits and things. I've been using my stamps a little bit more. And so I, um, I kept switching back and forth from my Hobonichi to this, but mainly keeping everything still in my Hobonichi A6. And then I just add like a little bit, some more stamping. It's kind of been through here. I really like the little colors of this page. And just like, must, like things that I need to take care of. I've shared before, I feel like if this had a grid format and maybe just all the days here in blank, like um, the Sterling Ink Planner many people had shared with me and I end up getting that in passport and pocket size um, for the different functions and things that it has. But I love the paper of Traveler's Company. So we'll see. This week I didn't end up using the passport just the other week. So maybe I'll write a little poem or quotes or something here. And back to my weeks. So it's just a little simple decorating. Okay, then we're on this week, which we'll decorate here in a few minutes. This is um, a sticker from a really cute little bookstore down in Savannah. And um, these are the cats that they have in there. They've been there for just so long and they just kind of enjoy around the store and you can see them, you find them in little nooks and it's just really cute. It's so special to always visit there. And just catty corner from there is a good uh, book stationery store that belongs to the college. Okay, and then at the back here, slipped in my cover, is a little sticker release book. And look how cute those little cats and bunny friends. And so um, this little booklet is from Sticky Club. So it's just a little small booklet of little sticker release paper which works out perfect when you're meeting with uh, little planner stationery friends and you can share stickers. My friend Holly at the meetup shared these stickers. She shared lots of stickers with all of us. And then right behind that, because that's tucked into the clear cover here, I have some other little stickers back there. More little stickers. Uh, my friend Holly shared and then there's a little pocket here and I have a trim down. This is a Hobonichi little clear sleeve and it was A6 and I just trimmed it down to a little mini pocket sleeve. And it just has a few little things in here. Okay. And so I tuck that in the pocket and then I have my clip if needed. So all of those things are in one clear cover. Hi Tom, Thomas. Thomas is up here joining. And, and so it's only still utilizing that one elastic. And these clear covers, um, I believe I just found on Amazon, they're like passport but literally for your passport, not like Traveler's Company passport insert. It's a clear cover for your passport, so it runs slightly 
larger, but works out great when you want to add all these other things in. And so I like it because it's on the one elastic and it's holding really uh, nice and snug on there. Okay, and then just a little pencil board and these are the little like post-it, translucent post-it type things from Hobonichi. I have um, quite a few of these in everything. I, I like to use those for marking things in your little note-taking. Okay, so now I thought we would um, hi Tom. Let's see, I was looking for my other little clip. My Traveler's Company clip. Okay, well I don't know where my Traveler's Company clip went, which is fine. So we'll just clip this, and then I'll go ahead and set up um, for the week a little something, a few little stickers. So I've shared my um, Kita little washi tape strips in a past recent video and how I keep them in this little container. But I'm really packed, really packed full in this container. And it was getting pretty empty and then I refilled it again and I really packed it full. So I got this cute little tin. It's quite a bit larger. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna pop them over to there just to have a little more space. I guess it's not that much bigger, but it makes a, a big difference. Okay, is that so cute? All right, and then I think I'll put these these are like the clear ones. I think I'll just stick those, yeah, on my lid here. I can organize those a little bit better later. Okay, so I did that because I feel like there's some little watercolors paints that I want to put in this one. We'll see. Okay, and then I have a little more room because I have so many of these to kind of pick through now. Plus, how cute is that? So cute. All right. So I got some new stickers from the Sticky Club and I'm back to getting not just the cute, but I added vintage on again. I'm always going back and forth with the vintage because I like them to be like a warm, <clears throat> sorry, a warm, cute vintage. Oh, look how good those are. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Oh, I love the little kitty with the socks on. I like a warm vintage, but not creepy vintage. This vintage pack is really, it's so good this time. Well, it's been good. I got a really good one last time too, and one before. Okay, so I think I wanna do these little cuties. I know I get, okay, I'm between these two, let's see. Oh, look at that little mouse carrying the mushroom. It's so precious. Oh, these are really, really little precious ones. Oh, they're so cute that some of these I would like for a little to, to use on a little cover to make. Oh, they, I try not to get where like, oh, I don't want to use them, I just need to keep them, but wow, these guys are so cute. There's a little bear reading his book. He's all cozy. Okay. Oh, I love the little birdie with the umbrella. All right, look, like he's a little creepy for me. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna do the cats. I'm gonna take those cat ones. Out 
add those right in out the gate and then oh I finally got some more of my glue sticks I, used, I always get so many I think I'd never run out and then I did so I end up buying a handful okay not that I need that one at the moment and if you get these just know the different color tips like there's orange gray blue and they all mean something different I think this is permanent gray might be permanent ones like repositionable I don't know don't get me um, don't quote me on what the colors are. I just know each color means something different and I think I got the gray because it's permanent. Okay. And so I'm just gonna do a little something simple. If I have new washi, sometimes I'll use little bits of my new washi. I like this green with it. To kind of go with the little green in there. And then this yellow is really cute. Yeah. Oh, this one's really cute and good too. Those are all really good little strips and bits. But this goes really good with his colors. Okay. I don't want to like over, overthink it too much. And I want to give myself space to write what I need to get done for that week. Okay. Where's my little, mm, my little trash can box? <sighs> Let me put that in here. Make sure. Okay. This is really cute. I think I'm going to take a little portion of that bottom off. Tend to not fill as much in on Sunday, so I think that one would kind of go perfect there. So, if you have a, <clears throat> sorry, if you have a um, passport size setup that you do, a traveler's company passport setup, for your um, everyday carry and you'd like to share that video with us you're welcome to um, put a link in the comments for us to go to and take a look at that video okay there's a lot of white on here of the background of that sticker so I'm just gonna quickly cut some of it out I think the whites just standing out a lot on that cream put paper here I don't normally cut and do this but that white is just really standing out quite a bit Okay. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll just get those mean little areas. Also, I have some I've made of the little cute trash cans. And I have some other little items, the tins and some stamps and a few things that I will be adding 
this week to my Etsy shop. Okay. I don't know why this doesn't want to be sticky all of a sudden. Did I not get that right? Well, perfect time. So my Etsy shop right now is on vacation mode. So if you're interested in seeing some of those things, you can uh, favorite it. And then when the shop opens, Etsy uh, sends a little email. Okay, there we go. The little kitty, this little kitty one, he's so cute. Do a little this for him. A little something like that. Maybe a little something like that. And then, okay. And then also I wanted to share with you guys, um, well, YouTube sent a bunch of little things out, accidentally shutting down um, some accounts. It was like some error system. Apparently a lot of people got this thing. And unfortunately with my YouTube, it happened and so they quickly were so great sent a little apology letter and reinstated everything but now it feels like my uh, algorithms and things for my YouTube are like back to a brand new little account like the it's my videos seem the last few videos seem to not be getting out there to people and um, So if you guys can um, like and comment or uh, subscribe, something to kind of, I guess, keep that going or make sure it's just popping up in your feed for you guys. I mean, if everything's working great, that's wonderful. But um, for you, like if that's all working out, but for some reason, it definitely is not working out right on um on my side so i'm hoping my this video gets out to you guys in the same as they had been i think i kind of want to move him ah scootsy 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 little buddy Should have maybe not cut him at all. Okay. Yeah, I was a little panicking of that to make sure that the videos and things that I post them, that, that they, they make their way to you guys. That's the whole, the whole point of sharing. Okay. there okay loving that more okay so you can see it's just really a little something quite simple and I can add in my things and so I'm gonna put a little howdy week start my little week off and I feel like is there something I know for sure this week and I can jot that in here hmm. I'm not sure but today I can go back to and make sure that I um, set up and post videos oh and then for my garden I need to reset my fountain, my little beautiful garden fountain. 
uh, I need to reset it. It's uh, flowing too much water, like coming out, sprouting out the top and coming down the sides and everything. It's a little, it must have got bumped and is on a higher speed. So I need to go out there and clean and reset that for sure in my garden today. So in my days, I just, I will just jot down must things to do in those days. And if it's just stuff I need to get done for the week, I put it on a little post-it and put it on the page just knowing take care of that at some point this week. And that's why um, and, uh, I have another video for you guys this week showing the pocket sterling ink and how good it is having all the days of the week on one side and uh, the blank space on the other, just the grid paper, just to jot down all those other notes. I also have a video showing that last week or so, um, if you guys wanna take a look at that. But I just, um, I wanted to show a closer look of that pocket and the little hack for a cover I have for that. So that's it. It's just uh, simple, but adds a little cuteness and warmth to your pages. And then maybe a couple little hearts floating around there. But look at that little kitty, so cute, sleeping. And then maybe um, they have some little leaves and mushrooms. Maybe I'll take those little mushrooms. I really don't need to add anything else. but I'll put that there. And like I said, Sunday doesn't have too much that I usually do on it, so I don't mind. I feel in Sunday, I feel like many times. Okay. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like and subscribe if you haven't. If you, I post lots of videos every week and I answer all my comments and everything you guys send me. And I love and appreciate it. So thank you as always for joining me.